Welcome. In front of me is a Samsung Galaxy A90 and today I'll show you a couple tweaks and tricks you can do on this device. So starting off we're going to begin with the swipe down for notifications and uh, by default if you swipe down you open up well, applications, if you swipe up you do the same. So one of those is in my opinion a little bit redundant and we can thankfully switch it to swipe down for notifications. So let's hold our finger on the display uh, anywhere where you don't have any kind of icons or widgets. Then go to the home screen settings and you should see swipe down for notifications. Toggle this on and now if you swipe down you can see that it opens up notifications. And you can swipe it down from really far down and it will always pull it down as long as you have enough room to just flick down basically. And I can also extend it from here. So fairly nice and still to access the app tray I just swipe up and moving now to the next one uh, to make the display a little bit cleaner uh, it's gonna be the gesture navigation now it looks like by default it comes with the uh, buttons at the bottom which to me is a little bit outdated uh, but if you like it that's completely up to your preference uh, if you want to change it into a gestures though what you want to do is go into the settings then go to and display, not where I just clicked, display, there we go. And then, let's see, home screen. Actually not home screen, where is it? Navigation bar, there we go. And from here, let's select full screen gestures and simply the buttons disappear, get substituted with this bar. Uh, now, if you never used this before, uh, quick way to, well, I'll show you how it works. Swipe up to go home. Swipe up and hold to go to recent and then swipe from the sides to go back. As you can see, uh, when you go back, it shows you the arrow on the side. So there we go. And you can also switch between apps so here more open. So you swipe uh, from side to side on the bar that is at the bottom. So let me actually open something else. There we go. So you can see I can swipe between the apps. Fairly nice. Uh, makes the display look a little bit cleaner along with giving you a little bit better usability. I personally really like swipe back from the side which is, is a really great place to actually have like a back gesture. Now moving on to the next one it's gonna be the screen mode and this is just gonna allow you to change the colors of the display so if for instance the uh, oversaturated uh, vivid mode that is set by default as only suits you, your preference, you can go under the display, screen mode and change it for instance to natural which will be a little bit more toned down or a lot more toned down. So you can clearly see the difference between those by flipping them on and off here. So it's completely up to your preference. Uh, I personally prefer the natural uh, because some colors here are just so overdone that they are just unnatural. But yeah, so choose whichever one you want and simply leave and it automatically will stick with that, color, with that color scheme. Now moving on to the next option, it's a simple dark mode and you can access it quickly through the notification panel and there we go, there's the toggle dark mode. Tap on it, bam, it's now in dark mode. That also persists over default apps, uh, things like settings, so everything is now in dark mode. Now there's also a little bit of a benefit to it. Uh, because it's a Samsung device, it's primarily using a AMOLED display, meaning that pixels uh, are self-lit. That also means that anything that is fully black, like everything around here, and the spaces between the tiles that are fully black, are not even lit up. And because they're not lit up, they're going to save a little bit more battery on your device. Now the battery that you will save is nothing special here, maybe an hour at max. Uh, so don't think that it's going to give you a massive boost in battery life, but it's still there, so I wanted to mention it. And moving on to the next option, uh, it's called Sensors Off, and this is one that is fairly hidden. And what it allows you to do is basically disable things like your camera uh, and microphones, so you will have complete privacy. So what you do is go into the settings and you do need to have enabled the developer options. If you have not done that before, uh, then you can go under the 
about phone then go under the software information i believe let's see yep software information and then build number tap on the build number seven times and before you actually enable it if you have some kind of protection on your device you will need to confirm it just as i do and when you do you will have developer mode has been enabled information so simply go back and go back once more and now you should see that if i scroll down it's now as the last option developer options so let's go into it and from here you want to scroll down to the quick settings and developer tiles and one of the options right here is sensors off now before i enable i will pull down the notification panel just so you can see that there is as a first option we have the wi-fi right here so now let's enable sensors off and you will see that sensors off is a first toggle here and before i toggle it on we'll open up camera so you can clearly see the camera is working right now also front right cool um now i'm not gonna really go into the microphone it's kind of pointless um but there we go so now if i toggle sensors off you will see that the camera doesn't even want to open now i can close it oops let's close everything and try to open up camera but you can see it just keeps crashing now if i were to disable this and open it up voila it works perfectly so this basically cuts out communication uh, for the device to the camera and microphone and basically the phone is not able to spy on you if you're really worried about that one uh, now there is also a little bit of a downside to this if someone calls you uh, you will need to disable the sensors off mode uh, either before you pick up or after you pick up otherwise uh, the person that is calling you won't be able to hear you so just a little uh, heads up there. But that being said, this would conclude all the tweaks and tricks I wanted to share. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.